In these farmers eyes, stealing animals is the most horrible thing on earth. But cutting their heads off, completely fine. That's my God given right. Like listen to yourselves. <laughs> what an idiot. I cannot, I cannot with this guy. So when it comes to gun toting, Trump worshiping, meat eating, redneck Karens, this Ed Petit guy is the final boss. All right, so if you haven't heard, there's a sanctuary called Asher Farm Sanctuary in upstate New York. I'm not very familiar with the area, but Asher Farm Sanctuary, Vegan Sanctuary have gotten into some trouble here. There's a bit of a news story associated with this. A lot of articles, check it out. Well, there is beef tonight between Niagara County farmers and a local animal sanctuary. Controversy in the country. The owners of two cows in Newfane say their animals are being held hostage and they want them back. The animals are being held hostage by who? Somebody wants to help them? The owner of McKee Farms says two of his cows got loose and ended up at Asha's Animal Sanctuary about a half mile away. The sanctuary wants to keep the cows, and that's upsetting other local farmers who say that's not how things work. There's Ed Petit, look at him, don't mess with farmers. They should have been given back to the owner. Other people have had cows or horses get loose, and people make sure they get back where they belong. Why don't they just send the cows back to have their heads cut off and their body cut up into pieces and fed to people? Scott Gregson, who owns McKee Farms just down the road, says the cows are his, but the sanctuary does not want to give the cows back. We're a sanctuary. We don't want to hand over animals that are going to go into slaughter. The dispute is upsetting local farmers who are demanding Asha's Farm Sanctuary releases the beef. Just look at how they, they, they view the animals. Beef. Release the beef. Asher's trying to stop them from being slaughtered, and the farmers like release the beef. They 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 are just beef to us. Two different mindsets completely. I hope it teaches people a lesson not to mess with farmers. I'll tell you that much. Well, maybe you should stop messing around with animals. All of you rounding up animals to send them to their death to stick a knife in their throat. They act like they're doing something noble here, but really they're on the wrong side of history. This is ridiculous. This is people's livelihood. It's food on the table. It's food to feed their families. This isn't right. This isn't right. Big bad Ed, this isn't right. This is food for their families. Like, it doesn't think of the animal, the individual animals and what their preferences are. Their preference is obviously to live in peace and not to be hacked in the throat with a knife. But Ed only sees it from the farmer's perspective and food on the tables. Like, you can't eat other food. You have to eat these sentient conscious beings, cut their heads off. If anyone's being ridiculous, mate, it's you. And what she chooses to do for the good of um, injured and and helping other animals. You can help other animals, but just release the beef because these aren't actually animals, they're just beef. So she's stealing our beef. You know, like, it's just, yeah, help the other injured animals, help the dogs and cats, but release the beef. It really means a lot to us. This is a very stressful time for our family right now, what we're going through, and I just can't thank them enough. My heart bleeds for you, Scott Gregson. But what is all this? What is all this news article? What actually happened? Let's check it out from the sanctuary owner, Tracy's perspective. These calves over here have entered our property ten, 10 days ago. They wandered onto our property. They caused damage to our property. Look how beautiful they are. Mm. We reported it immediately to the Niagara County SPCA. They alleged that they found the owner of these cattle. There was no proof. I talked to him reasonably, offered for the calves to stay here but we had a bill that we had to take care of. So basically she called the owner, got some of your calves here. They've damaged some of our property. We'll look after them, but you'll have to sort of reimburse us for looking after these cows because it costs, obviously costs money. He asked me if I would keep them the weekend. I said, no problem. He would call me on Monday. Well, you want to know what happened? What, what happened? He never called me. What he did is he came here with the police. Tracy was trying to negotiate keeping the, the cows um, and saying, well, they're on my property. They've damaged some of our property. We've also had them for like 10 days, fed them, looked after them, and have probably put more into these, these cows than they're actually worth to you. Think what you want of that. I believe Tracy's intentions here are to save the lives of these animals. I don't really want to get into the legal stuff because we all know that morality and legality are two separate things. This uh, state trooper guy, whose cows got loose, was negotiating on the phone with her, and then he thought, you know what, no way. I'm gonna start launching accusations at her. Claims like that she might have taken these cows, um, and I'm not going to 
give her the money that I owe her, and I'm gonna try to get the cows back. Maybe out of some sort of stupid principle that they have. No, 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 not like that. Two cows matter to these beef farmers. Tracy's trying to save some lives, and the beef farmers wanna send the cows to the slaughterhouse. Where does Ed come in? Old Ed hears about this whole commotion, and you know Ed, he can't keep it to himself, you know, he's, he's like final boss, king of all Karens. And if you have a little look-see here, <laughs> I think he thinks he's Donald Trump. He built a, a little makeshift stage on his front yard. He's made an acronym for Asher, animals stolen, hidden away. Don't mess with farmers. Cow stolen from a man, rights stolen from a community. Have a look at this guy. Absolutely ridiculous, mate. We, we all know that this is all you have to do, basically. Tracy's the sanctuary owner looking after animals and uh, you're building, painting, doing a little arts and craft on your, f you got, you've got American flags poking out of it, dude. <laughs> this is the type of people that we're dealing with. If you think I'm gonna sit here, right, and, and, and not speak with contempt about this person who is fighting for these animals to have their heads decapitated, who is carrying on like this over two cows, right, which Tracy was trying to save, then you got another thing coming because I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to this person exactly how I think he deserves to be talked to. Why don't you join me for breakfast this morning? And what's Ed having for breakfast? I bet you some of that good old homegrown, freshly slaughtered animal sleeves. Let's have a little look. I want to show you what I have on my table. So I got my bacon and eggs. So oh, you got little pieces of uh, pigs, hey? Little pieces of pig's body. Were they gas chambered or electrically stunned and stabbed to death? And what do you got? A bit of a. Uh, some st something out of a, the hen's bum there. Bit of eggs, eh? Freshly, freshly grown and harvested from our, our good old farmers down there in upstate New York. I got my milk. He's got a glass of milk, just, just rubbing it in. A glass of titty juice too, Ed. Maybe that explains why you act like such a big man, baby. Cause you're still on the tit. I got my butter. Got some butter there too, you know what, Ed? <laughs> you know what, Ed? If you keep eating like that, mate, you won't be whinging for much longer because your arteries are just going to be solidified by the end of the year. Everything you see, everything I showed you, was raised and produced on my farm, my family homestead. Mate, you're, the, you're a farming hero, mate. You raised that pig and you stabbed him to death yourself, did you? Well, <laughs> round of applause, mate. Round of applause, everyone. Everyone gather around. Ed's little uh, makeshift stage here and give him a big fat round of applause. You've murdered a pig. Wow, what do you want, a medal? Here's your medal. The food the, animal, the animals eat is mostly raised on my farm as well. I do my own processing because it is the way of life I chose. It's just the way of life I chose. I chose to stab pigs to death and cut pieces of their buttocks off and put them on my plate for breakfast. Before I'm fed in the morning, my animals are fed. Before I retire, at night, I make sure my animals are protected and safe from predators. You are the predator, Ed. You are the predator to those animals. You're feeding them before you're fed. I don't believe you. You're protecting them before you protect yourself. I don't believe you. You're protecting them from some predator. You are the predator. Like, you are literally going to stab them to death, mate. Listen to yourself. You're acting like you're a noble, Animal protector. It's a life of hard work, but it's satisfying to me. It is my right, granted by my creator, to live this way. You just have rights granted by God? God gave you rights? Or did the law give you rights? Which one is it? If you believe in God, then you should also believe that God granted animals the right to live. Or are you going to use the whole dominion argument? Almost certain that the pig you stabbed to death to put on your plate did not want to die. Where are the pigs God-given rights to live? Where are the cows God-given rights to live? Or is it just you that have God-given rights? Our society was created to protect those rights. And Asha Sanctuary is engaged in an attack on those rights. So like, you're, you're all about protecting rights, are you, Ed? Except when it comes to, to animal rights. Animals don't deserve rights. I have the right to stab them to death and eat them. Tracy is taking our rights. You are such a victim, mate. It is absolutely embarrassing. You think you're the victim. You're the victim of Tracy. The animals aren't the victim of you. You are not breaching the animals' rights, are you? 
by cutting their head off and eating them, no? Namely, livestock property rights. So this is what it all boils down to. Ed believes that Tracy manufactured this whole thing, protected the cows, they, they got out, put them in, in, in enclosure, just to take away the farmer's property rights. Big plan by Tracy to, it wasn't just, let me help these two individuals in this moment. Well, let me tell you something, Ed. No one gives a damn if you own a table or a computer or a car. We do give a damn if you start to own conscious sentient beings who are having a subjective experience like animals and humans. Property rights should not trump the rights of the individual. They have engaged in a desperate attempt to create an unethical legal maneuver to confiscate unsuspecting farmers' livestock and weaken their property rights. It's interesting how you talk about ethics, Ed. You wouldn't know ethics if it smacked you on the head. Like, how dare you speak of ethics when you have a chopped up pig on your plate and you are more concerned with your right to own animals than the animal's right to exist without harm and without a knife in their throat. Okay, we, we've got a good idea about Ed and his mission. Ed's mission is to stop Tracy from protecting animals, basically. But he didn't just stop there. He actually went and harassed board members of ASHA. We are taking this to the home of an ASHA sanctuary board member. I wonder how Ed would fare if a bunch of people turned up at his house. Probably not too well. He'd probably have a massive cry, call the police, and build another stage about it. Because I want to ask you some questions as a board member of the ASHA sanctuary about the company policies. Isn't Ed the big old hypocrite? He's now on their property, and he's all about property rights. Hey Ed, you heard of trespass, mate? So if you're gonna be all about property rights, you better not breach other people's property rights. Obviously, Ed doesn't give a damn about that. Ed's just got way too much time in his hands. Attention Youngstown, attention Youngstown. I'm sorry if I disrupt your dinner that was provided by farmers while I'm here fighting for the rights of farmers. Your neighbor is a board member of the Asha Sanctuary. They have disrupted the life in my community, my community of hardworking farmers. Oh, mate, this guy is the biggest emotional manipulator you're ever going to see. He's got a megaphone out the front of their house talking about how hard working he is. Mate, you pick up some eggs from some hens, you throw a little bit of hay on the ground, and you stab pigs in the throat. Like, what do you want, mate? We need your support, just as you need our support, to eat. You know what? Big up the farmers who just grow fruits and vegetables for us and the grains. Like, big up the farmers. The animal killers, though, mate, you need to get a new hobby, mate. I seriously hope, if there is a god, you are completely stripped of your right to own and kill animals. And while I'm alive, I'm gonna make it my mission to completely strip you of your rights to have anything to do with an animal. Especially when you've got your little sharpened knife in your hand and all you're thinking of is eating their bum. Let's have a little think about, what does Asher Sanctuary do for animals? protect injured animals, look after sick animals, pay for vet bills, feed them, house them, give them a good quality of life. And what does Ed do for animals? Gets up in the morning, protects them from predators. Turns out, he is the predator. Stabs them to death, chucks them on his plate and makes a stupid live stream talking about property rats over animal rats. Wow, mate, I can tell you right now, if I was an animal, I'd wanna stay as far away from you as humanly possible. I'd want you in prison if I was an animal. You are a board member. So you have responsibility for what the president of the corporation does. I have no control over her. Do you support what she's doing right now? I can't speak to anything that's going on right now. Why not? Because it's, it's not my place. Sure it is. You're a board member of Asha Sanctuary. Yeah. He's basically harassing her to speak about something that she doesn't have any um, power over and it's just a legal issue that she shouldn't really be speaking on. So she's being smart here. Would, would you resign from the board? And, and protest what she's doing? Okay. Um, it's necessary to the farmers. We work hard. We work hard. Farmers act like, not all farmers are like this, but he acts like they're the only people on earth that work hard. Like, everyone else works hard. Single mothers with two jobs work hard. They don't go march around the streets going, we work hard. They just work hard. Farmers act like protected members of society who everyone should bow at your feet because you stab animals to death. And the problem is, if she gets away with stealing our cattle... She didn't steal the cattle, mate. See, now he's, he's accusing her of stealing it. The cattle got out. The media said his cattle got loose and she contained them. You are launching accusations at her without evidence, saying she stole the cows. 
You weren't there. How do you know she stole them? You're ascribing intent. We all know that she doesn't want the animals to die, but they could have just got out. She says she wants to, she wants to pay top dollar. But first of all, what's top dollar? He doesn't want, he didn't raise them for her. He raised them. He, he's got contracts with other people that have, for this beef. So Tracy even offered to buy them. They are refusing out of principle because he has contracts with other people to turn them into beef. You can tell exactly what these people are interested in. Those beef are being raised, uh, those, those cows are being raised for beef that my friend will use for his family and, 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 and for other people. So this is exactly what happens when there's property status of animals. The owner can dictate what happens to them. The owner can dictate whether or not they go to the slaughterhouse, so it's really in the owner's hands. This is the problem with animals treated as property. If you remove the property status of animals, you have to take the interests of the animal at heart. It's his property, she's got them, and she's not returning them. Well, it sounds like they're exploiting the, the use of the kids. They're exploiting. No, they're not exploiting anything. Have you seen Tracy Murphy? I call her Milk em Hard Murphy. Every day she's trying to get donations. She's raising funds off of these cattle. She's raising funds off another man's cattle. She's not raising funds off another man's cattle, right? Like, you're an absolute fool. She doesn't want them to die, all right? Can you give her the benefit of the doubt there? Like, what you want to do is make her out to be the most evil person on earth because it's a lot easier to attack an evil person. It's a lot harder to attack someone who's actually um, acting in the interests of the animals and actually has a, a heart filled with compassion and doesn't want them to die, isn't it? It's better to say, well, she's just raising money for herself and she doesn't care about these animals she cares about exploiting them for money it's a lot easier to attack that eh? it's a lot harder to attack a kind-hearted person who doesn't want two animals to be slaughtered because then what then farmers become the villain don't they and she becomes what the hero this could have been one of my cows because she didn't steal from me she didn't steal from my neighbors the problem is the stealing so so in these farmers eyes stealing animals is the most horrible thing on earth right but cutting their heads off, completely fine. That's my God-given right, you know? Trump-given, God-given, gun-toting right. Like, listen to yourselves. He has these animals there to feed them until they're ready to be slaughtered, cut off their head and turn them into steaks. And then, and then, a, a, a tag was removed. Look at Ed, he's having a breakdown, mate. You're having a breakdown, bro. You can't contain yourself, can you? You can't hold your composure, can you, bro? No, wait, wait, wait a minute. Her, her employees testified to that and testified that, that her intention was to keep those animals. She wants to save them. But they don't belong to her, and she knows they don't belong to her. You're not even a full human being, mate. You're a hollowed shell of a human being. You've got fake courage. You're a fake hero. The only time you feel big is when you're killing and eating animals or when you're harassing sanctuary owners. The way I will guarantee this, let's sit down for a discussion on my channel together, and I want to see how well you hold your composure with someone who is smarter than you and has more courage than you. And let's see how you justify what happens to animals. Let's see how you justify animals not having rights. Let's see you prove your position that property rights are more important than animal rights or human rights. I'm telling you right now, I, I can see straight through you. Uh, I hope you feel like a real hero, mate. You're pathetic. If you follow the common decency standards, they would have been returned as soon as she got them. How dare you talk about decency? Mate, you, you've got not a decent bone in your body, mate. The law is a minimum set of standards in society that you shouldn't go below. There's a moral and an ethical area that she blew through. How dare you talk about ethics and morality? Are you saying ethics and morality are more important than the minimum standard of the law? If you care about ethics and morality, why don't you care about the ethics and morality of cutting heads off? Like, what world do you live in? If you think it's more unethical to protect cows from being killed from their killers than it is to kill them. Do you have pets? Do you have a dog? No. You do. You have a dog. Would you like to, if someone did this with your dog? This guy just keeps debunking himself in the most hilarious and ironic way. Would the vegans like if someone kept their dog? Ed, I would love it if my dog was about to have their head cut off and someone protected my dog from having their head cut off. I don't think Ed understands how hilariously ironic that is, what he just said. Ed, how would you like it if your dog got their head cut off so I could have some bacon on my plate? You ever think about that? And what if there was some nice woman, as these dogs got out on their day of slaughter, pulled them in, protected them from having their heads cut off? And then some final boss Trump 
support and gun tote and Karen comes past with signs saying, release the dog beef, release the dog beef, send them to the slaughterhouse, we're hard working dog farmers, we want some dog beef on our plate. Like, who was in the right in that situation? Well, only one side is in the wrong here. And let me ask you this, what do you think she was saving those cows from? They weren't being abused, they were well fed. Give them back to the owner. That's uh, simple. She's not saving them from anything. Um, it's almost like Ed's memory, like, I think it's all the saturated fat cholesterol he's eating. I think he had a mini stroke. He completely deleted from his mind that the cows are going to be decapitated. I don't know what world you're from, Ed, but the world I'm from, which is called reality, cutting animals' heads off is quite abusive. That's what she was saving the cows from. She even said it. We're a sanctuary. We don't want to hand over animals that are going to go into slaughter. You can't make this up. You can't make this stupidity up, really. Except maybe she's saving them for herself. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot! I cannot, I cannot with this guy. Oh, please come on my channel. Please. I'll go on your channel, Ed. I'll go on your Facebook and talk to you. You are an absolute clown. She's saving them for herself? Why? So she can be arrested? She's protecting them from being slaughtered. She cares about their interests. You are trying to save them for yourselves, literally, to cut them up into pieces and eat them. Well, thank you for talking to us at least. Okay, everybody, that was a uh, interesting discussion. Well, you know what, uh, Ed, you just look like a blumbering mess who has no spine. You know, you're just a ridiculous, contradictory person. I don't get how you operate in society being the way that you are. You've got a gun. This guy's got a gun. This guy is the president of a Second Amendment gun lobbying group. The Second Amendment forever. Ed Pratit, he's the president. America is a scary place, mate, where people like Ed have guns. So Ed's back out the front of, uh, now he's out the front of Ash's sanctuary. The state police have pulled into the Asha Sanctuary. I think this is the beef thief bust. Release the beef. I believe they're here to release the beef. He's so excited out the front of the sanctuary now that the cows are gonna get taken by the police. What ends up happening is uh, Tracy gets arrested for theft and the cows go back to the killer, the person who's going to kill them. The beef are released. And they're the cows. They're on their way home. The beef are released. Gives no identity to these cows. Tracy's going to prison for doing the right thing, but this is uh, exactly what happens in history, isn't it? Like during uh, the times of slavery, you would have been arrested for liberating slaves. During the Holocaust, you would have been arrested, well, people were arrested and I think executed for hiding Jews. So I'm sure at every horrific point in history, there were many people like Ed, and that's why human history is so messed up. Finally, something that should have happened over a week, actually two weeks ago, none of this would have happened. If she had done the right thing right from the start, instead of trying to steal a man's cattle for her own selfish gain. Quite a sad situation. I mean, we can only imagine where those cows are now. You've all seen footage of inside slaughterhouses. I don't have to tell you what happens in there, but I might just tell Ed. Hey Ed, you ever seen cows get slaughtered inside slaughterhouses? You say you process your own animals, so you're probably well aware of the animal abuser that you are. Animals do not want to die. They go into slaughterhouses and struggle in fear and they are murdered against their will to live. It's a horrible animal rights violation. These places are blood-filled, bloodbaths, hell on earth, and you are a perpetrator of animal killing and misery. You are on the wrong side of history. One day, history's gonna catch up and you'll be remembered for the scumbag that you are. I'm very sorry that Tracy has been arrested. She tried her best. If you can support Asher Farm Sanctuary, please do. Please support Tracy. She put herself on the line and tried to help these animals. Unfortunately, the legal system and uh, imbeciles like Ed didn't let that happen, didn't let these animals live. They fought for the animals to be stabbed to death and Tracy got arrested for trying to protect the innocent. That's where we are in history when it comes to animal rights. We're very far behind. The animals are not gonna be free anytime soon, but all we can do is raise awareness and hopefully garner support for more sanctuaries and hopefully people like Ed die off in the next generation. All right guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.